Are you ready to create your own work dashboard to up your productivity when it comes to working from home? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lian Lai. I've been working from home since I was 15 years old, so I've been doing this for 12 years where I've been creating systems for myself, and I now run a virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines named 2XU, so I've been doing this for a lot of other people, and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, so make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, when it comes to going ahead and creating your work productivity system or your dashboard, there's a lot of guides out there. And honestly, I have a few of my favorites like Ali Abdal or Thomas Frank, and I wanted to do my own version of what my productivity dashboard looks like or my work dashboard looks like. So if you have no idea what it is in the first place, so a work dashboard is basically your online or digital way, or it could be also on paper to keep yourself on track. Now I've gone through so many iterations of this in the last 12 years years of working from home I went from notebooks I have a whole stack and I wanted to bring it for this video but it's actually like tall tall stack and it's in one plastic box that I have of like all of the notebooks I've used in the last couple of years to keep track of my productivity and it goes from everything from the projects I'm working on the tasks that I'm going to be doing and what I'm doing from day to day I've also then started using tools like OneNote or using tools like Evernote to keep those in track as I've kind of progressed and I'm going to show you guys what I've been using that has I've not really changed it in the last five years other than maybe adding a few tweaks there, which is using Notion. So hopping onto here. So here, this is an, my actual Notion um, on here. So you'll see like things that I have going on today. I've not edited any of this because I do want you guys to see kind of like under the hood of what goes on for me as a virtual assistant agency owner. Um, so for me, I just have, I just call this as today. I have the time here because usually uh, when it's like this where I can't see the clock um, on my Mac, um, I need to see the clock here so I know where I'm going and what I'm doing. Um, and then here, we have the clock, we have my calendar basically of what I'm supposed to be doing. Right now it's supposed to be my afternoon off, but here I am recording this. Uh, I have my today focus or highlight. So I learned this from the book that I'm reading, which is Make Time by Jake Knapp and Jake Sizeratsky. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in the link in the description below. But basically it has taught me, one of the first things that it talks about is choosing your highlight for the day. Um, and basically I just put it as my today focus is what are the tasks that makes it, you know, if I did this, I know I'd be proud of myself. Uh, and then I have the rest of the tasks that I've slotted for today. I have a capture or sort, I have a meetings tracker, I have a tickler file, I have uh, my goals basically for June, this is the to-do list for my assistant, so on and so forth. So, But for me, the important part is actually just this upper half. Like, just looking at this, I know what I'm supposed to be doing next, which is order one minute manager books at the moment, or judging different awards, or updating client pages. I can now go through this step by step because of the system that I've created for myself. So if this is something that you want to do, I'm gonna walk you guys through that whole process right now. So when it came to creating my work dashboard, there were a few things that I had to put in mind and I'm gonna walk you guys through the three main ones so it makes it a little bit easier for you. The first one is I went ahead and created my ideal week. So what an ideal week is looking at your life, at the things that you're doing, what would be ideally the things that you'll be focusing on on every single day. So for example, for me, Monday is my admin day. So I know that it's going to be meetings with the admin team with different people. Uh, we have like our group like admin meeting or we call it L10 or leadership 10 meetings on Mondays. Tuesdays are usually either client sales calls days. Uh, and actually that's Tuesday and Thursday. So Tuesday and Thursdays, I have client calls, I have sales calls. And then Wednesday, as you guys have seen on my own calendar, is my day off. So in the morning, I will have, uh, that's usually my financial uh, admin catch-up day. So anything, any work that I need to get done that hasn't been done on Monday, because I had a lot of meetings, I do it on Wednesday. Uh, I will have a financial meeting with um, basically all of my executives. And that's usually done in the first half of the day. In the bottom half of the day, I take a day off because I know Tuesday and Thursday are usually my meeting heavy days. So I keep that in mind of like, hey, I need to break, I need to breathe. And usually I take like, I actually do take the afternoon off other than probably just messages. I don't respond to anyone or meetings or have anything else scheduled on that day just because I prioritize that self-care for myself. 
Fridays are usually wrap up days. So those are the weekly meetings that I have with clients. And we also have a team meeting for everyone else in 2XU during that day. So I have themed my days in that way in the whole week. So it's easy for me and my assistant to slot out when to schedule out different meetings throughout my whole week. Now, next is I created my ideal day of if, you know, everything went perfectly, what would my ideal day look like? And for me, I start off the day with a focus time. So this is usually the time where I focus on that one thing, that highlight for the day. And on Mondays, usually that means I'm cleaning out my email. Next is night, right on 9 o'clock, I have a meeting with my assistant. 10 o'clock is my brunch. I usually don't get hungry until about 10 o'clock in the morning. So that's usually when I take my brunch. 11 o'clock and onwards, I usually then have have meetings one after the other and typically on noon because I just ate at 10 I would record YouTube videos just like this one but again on a Wednesday I do have a lunch meeting uh, with people in my financial team so it depends but I've I have that slotted out so then I know when I'm focusing on work I know when I'm creating content for you guys I know when I'm supposed to be doing meetings so on and so forth and again it's easy for my assistant to work with me because she knows my preferences so for you start thinking of what should your ideal week look like and what should your ideal day look like because in the next thing that I'm gonna walk you guys through it's gonna help a lot having that clarity so the next thing that has helped me a lot and I've talked about this in so many other videos is the getting things done method so this is based on the book getting things done by David Allen where as I'm gonna simplify this as much as I can uh, there's a three-step process when it comes to your productivity the first one is you need a way to capture things that are coming off of your head. Your head or your brain was not made to memorize things or to hold storage. It's meant to create more ideas. So having a way that you can capture ideas is important. The next is there that needs to be a way that you can sort through the ideas that you got so you can put them in the right place. And then the last one is what is your next action? So at any given point, you need to have those three points in your productivity system. So for example, for me, um, going back to my notion, so I have the capture and sort right here. So this is connected to my task list. So anytime throughout the day that I get an idea, I get a task for myself, or I just need to take note of something, it's right on my capture. So for me, if I'm out and about on my actual phone right there, let me see if it'll guys, it'll, I have something called the bucket. So the bucket is actually connected to my capture. Um, and anytime that I get an idea, I'm out, I'll click that and it will automatically have a way for me to add a new page. I'm sorry if like the lighting's weird, uh, but basically they'll have a way for me to add a new page uh, so then I can capture things on the go. The next is on the clarify and organize. So then I'm going through like, hey, is this an actual task or is this a note that I need to file? So is this actionable? Can I take action on this note that I made for myself? Or is this just a reminder for the future? Is this something that goes into my notes, master list, so on and so forth? So then I sort it in that way. And then the last part is the action. On Based on this action list that I have right now, can I do them in less than two minutes? If yes, then that's my next form of action. And then I set out my priorities afterwards. And when it comes to creating my priorities, I use the Eisenhower matrix, which is if you have not seen it yet, it's basically knowing what are the things that are urgent and important and making sure you do that first. Anything that's not urgent and important, sorting out when you actually want to do them. So you're adding that urgency. Any task that is not urgent and not important, you probably want to analyze and see what you need to throw out or probably not has doesn't have to be included on your list. And finally, anything that is urgent and not important, you probably want to give that to someone else who could make it more important for them. So that's something to maybe to delegate or sort out like why is that in your list in the first place anyway. So that's basically like literally how I have created my own work dashboard. So I'm going to walk you guys through a template that I've created for you guys so you guys can check out on the description. But this is what I've just called your productivity dashboard. So in here, I've kind of copied almost the same thing that I have on my Notion page, although this is a little bit cleaner because for me, I have a little bit of chaotic ness added to it. So here uh, you guys can see like there's a walkthrough on how to use it um, already. You guys can see the pages that I've created for you. So how I do this or how uh, to use this more is you want to first set the projects that you're currently doing. What are things that you're getting done in your business or in your day to day work? Start writing them down um, on it. And then here on the task tracker, you can then start connecting them. Um, to it. So this for example, like this is now your capture. So anything that's on the new, uh, let's say task number one, 
And when you click on that, uh, you can you know pick which project that's involved in. You can pick the priority level. You can pick the due date. You can pick you know putting in the link for reference, so on and so forth. So it's a cool and easy way that for you as you're going through your day, um, you go back to the main dashboard. It's easy for you to see what are the things that are getting done for today. So I have the filter on here of um, you know due date is today, and then or shortlist. Uh, for today is the status and then kind of just easily like for me I can easily see what I'm supposed to be doing next here is your bucket or your capture so this is where you're supposed to go through and add in anything that you need throughout the day uh, you can create a shortcut on your phone for notion so it automatically goes to this page here is a meeting and notes class notes tracker basically so if you're in meetings or when I mean classes, like I take webinars, I go through courses basically, and this is where I would put them into. And then currently studying is if I'm going through a book, for example, or a course, I can track them here. So this is kind of, I made this super duper simple just for you to get started. And for creating your ideal week, you can click there. And this will create like your weekly tracker. So for example, for me, I put here like Monday, check the projects and update the task list, clean up your new, uh, clean your email, start your schedule. So here you can edit this and make this more for you. And then once it's done basically for the week, you can move it to your weekly archive. So the way that you can edit this, for example, is you can just open that up, open this, and then you can edit this to what makes sense, again, for you and what you set for your daily theme, basically, or your daily focus. Uh, so then it's easy for you to go through it. So again, this is on the description, but that's basically a good walkthrough for you of how to create your own just work or productivity dashboard. Once you hopefully have your own dashboard, the next steps is basically to test and update. Just make sure that it makes sense for you. If you're not using a part of your system, if you're not updating it, then it's probably something that you want to take out or upgrade in some way so you are using it. You don't want your Notion page to look really pretty, but then there's nothing on it. You're not using any of it. That's why I kept the productivity dashboard super simple and easy to use just because then uh, you're actually using every bit and part of it instead of just having a really pretty feature on there, but you're not even using it at all. And of course, I really encourage that you do a weekly reset and review. So it's just going through again, kind of like how on Mondays I have it scheduled where you go through your projects and your tasks. I encourage that you touch it often. So what I mean is you update, you look at it. Is this irrelevant for me or not? Is this actionable? Is this a priority? So on and so forth. So you have that clarity moving forward every single time on what you're supposed to be doing so you can be a little bit more productive at work. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what productivity system do you use? I would love to know more. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of our videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and remember that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.